Once the U.S. government opened up the Internet to citizens, early developments were non-proprietary and non-commercial. Essentially, the web was a vast digital commons. Developers added software for free and made the platform freely available for all to build upon. This is what gave us the engine of innovation that led to the web browser you are using right now and the web link you just clicked on. This is what gave us the web. Eventually, online beings called Restrictatrons moved in and began to keep their development for themselves, creating online spaces they claimed as big business property. They sought conflict and universal conquest of the once open and peaceful web. They aggressively invade our privacy by monitoring our online activities, creating complex personal profiles of us all. These same menaces began enclosing the internet by promoting their own content and services at the expense of others. They started slamming advertisements in our face. claim all the content we produce is their property. But the web is not lost. A new counterforce is taking shape, the Freedomtrons. The Freedomtrons are benevolent beings helping web users take claim of the web, bringing it back under the control of web users rather than restrictatrons. Wikiator is letting web users create the first participatory encyclopedia. Foxator is helping web users block ads and customize their own web experience. Free Speecher is creating an online social networking and video sharing community that is open source, non-commercial, non-profit. A community that is alive but does not monitor your online activity, a sanctuary from the restrictatrons. Join the Free Speech community. Tell your friends and family to join the Our Web campaign. Go to freespeech.org slash our web and find out other ways you can get involved. It's our web. The Freedomtrons can't claim the web without our help. Join the battle for our web at www.freespeech.org slash our web.